All right. Whew. That was a heck of a walk. I'm about a mile, mile and a half from the truck up on the big oak ridge overlooking the lake. Beautiful lake. It's kind of small. It's uh, the first lake in a chain of lakes. I think there's four lakes all connected by little creeks and channels. Um, I know there's beaver in this lake. I was here this just before freeze up. I had a couple of sets, but they uh, I was like a weekend too late. Over, I don't think you can see it from here. I'll get a better shot when I get down. So anyhow, I know there's beaver in here. I've seen them swimming around. Let's go on down the ridge and see what we can find for fresh sign. Hold on. nice deer trail along this ridge if you can see it they follow it down to the bottom just about not quite I see an old tree that's been uh, chewed by a beaver, probably last year or the year before. <clears throat> Apparently I uh, pissed off a couple of geese. <clears throat> get around here, I get a shot, this is a pretty big tree. That took some work. That tree's got to be uh, 12, 14 inches across. Check it out. And that's not a size 5. That's a 12. Alright, I'm going to shut you off for a minute. And try to find some fresh sign. I'll turn you back on. Alright. I'm to a spot where I was this fall. Boy, the water level sure come up. They must have uh, successfully uh, dammed off the creek that drains this pond or lake. Um, last year I was standing in here and it was bone dry, or actually this fall. Now the water, there's over a foot of water in here. So, anyhow, there's the beaver house. I'll see if I can uh, zoom in on it. Right, right there. Pretty good size. It'd take me two hours to get over there. So I'm going to try to set on this side of the lake and draw them in with eye appeal. Uh, that way, hopefully, I'll just get the larger beaver. Alright, let me turn this off and see if I can find a spot. Alright, well it's taken me a while. Uh, the sign isn't real great, but it's the best I could find. If you can see that pine tree across the lake, that's where I came down the ridge at. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. That pine tree right there, that's where the geese were at. So I ended up coming uh, halfway around the lake. I'm on a little small secondary pond. And I found a spot where the beaver have come up, and they must feel pretty comfortable. There's a lot of uh, chewed sticks in here. Uh, we got a caster mound right here, and uh, it's it's nothing great, but it's the best I can find. They've been uh, feeding on this willow. So what I'm going to do, uh, the wind isn't really in my favor, but there's a little canal connecting the lakes. Right, whoops, sorry about the focus, right there. And when the beaver comes around, he'll be looking right at this spot. 
So I'm going to put cast here here, but my main thing is uh, I'm going to put a lot of peeled sticks down here and make a large caster mound to try to get them on eye appeal. So uh, let me stick you up in the bushes and uh, see if I can make this set for you. Hold on. Pardon the shaky. Hopefully you don't fall in the water because I'll be uh, bumming about the new camera. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Um, I already have my anchor wired up. I got real deep water right here, muck bottom. And uh, I had to use the boat anchor I was talking about. It weighs about 10 pounds, which is light for a beaver, but it's uh, not too bad in the bottom of the backpack. But once you get it tossed out there, you put a lot of cable on it, these, uh, these wings uh, will come out and dig into the bottom, and it actually has a lot of holding power. So I got my T-bar in here. We're going to throw this out. Hopefully the whole rig don't go flying. That's nice and tight. I'll set it in the bottom. Yeah, that's grabbing good. I already got my, uh, I'm using a swivel for a slide lock. I got it pointed downhill into the water so that when the beaver takes off it can slide. When he tries to pull back it'll bind up. And I just got a big heavy duty quick connect here. So I'll tighten this up a little bit. I got my T-bar angled away from the water, so if it... Hey guys, I'm at that set I showed you yesterday, partial set, set until my battery ran out. A uh, funny story is I worked my way all around this lake and uh, didn't find a lot of great sign. So I was heading for the beaver house itself, and as I was heading in, another guy with waders on was heading out. So it turns out he's already been trapping in here. The uh, DNR called him because the uh, beavers are uh, plugging up a culvert and uh, flooding a walkway. So I showed you this set. It's a big giant eye appeal caster mound. I went ahead and left it in, but I noticed when I got here this morning that the uh, trap has gone off its bed and out the slide wire. So uh, I guess I'll pull her in and see what we got. Let me tip you down a little. I think we got it here. All right, let's see. Yeah, I see fur. It's a small, but it'll work. I'm surprised. Uh, the good news is when I talked to the guy, he said he hadn't got a really big beaver out of here. So uh, that's why I left the set going. And uh, we ended up with a small. That'll work for me. Good for a pair of mitts or whatever. All right, let me get this guy out of the trap and uh, we'll get back with you. Take care.